The age of YouTube has completely changed what it means for a kid to get rich. Before, it was all about hoping you'd strike it big with Disney or Nickelodeon. Now, the world's highest paid YouTuber is a primary schooler who opens toys for fun. Equally, there are still kids out there who were born into their millions, but whether their parents are mega rich and famous or the kids themselves are, their lifestyles can be truly unbelievable. So, let's take a peek into the daily lives of the richest kids in the world. <laughs> Little Queen Bee Imagine being 9 years old and having already won a Grammy, had Kim Kardashian and Kanye West attend your birthday party, and getting to live in your parents' five different mansions while a full staff caters to your every need. While that all sounds like a wishful dream to most of us, it's the everyday reality for Blue Ivy Carter the oldest daughter of entertainment royalty Beyonce and Jay-Z. From the moment she wakes up in the morning until she hops back into bed at night, Blue barely has to lift a finger. Not only is she dressed by a personal stylist, but her food is prepared by a private chef, and her every need is taken care of by not one, but two full-time nannies. And when Blue isn't totally living it up in her parents' $90 million home, she attends the West Hollywood Center for Early Education, a school with an outrageously low acceptance rate that has boasted such famous alumni as the children of Jodie Foster, Barbara Streisand, and Denzel Washington. Clearly, it's good enough to be trusted among Hollywood's elite. But just because famous faces are regularly seen there, it doesn't mean Blue can just roll up like normal kids. The nine-year-old has a personal motorcade that drops her off and picks her up again, consisting of two cars and three bodyguards. This level of protection is nothing new for Blue, who's had her own security since she was a baby when her superstar parents started taking her with them on tour. These days, Blue and her twin siblings, Rumi and Sir, still tag along to concerts around the world, a little like an everlasting family holiday. But that's not to say they don't have official vacations, too. Blue and her family regularly enjoy holidays on $2 million yachts and at five-star resorts all year round. The rest of the time, Blue can be seen attending super exclusive shows and red carpet events together with her world-famous parents, though she often steals the show herself. At the 2016 VMAs, for example, Blue arguably upstaged her legendarily glamorous mom in an $11,000 gown by children's designer Mishka Aoki and a pair of Giuseppe Zanotti kicks worth approximately $550. As you can see, Blue definitely has some expensive tastes. So expensive, in fact, fans online have thrown together Photoshop jobs like these that imply that cold, hard cash is the only toy this kiddo wants to play with. But despite all the fame and fortune her life has been filled with so far, like being nominated for a Grammy for featuring in her mother's song, Brown Skin Girl, the nine-year-old already looks well on her way to achieving success outside of her parents. In 2017, Beyoncé submitted the appropriate legal documents for Blue to release her own fragrance line, although it's unlikely young Blue will be actively involved in the venture until she's much older. With a current estimated net worth of about $500 million garnered through various collaborations, features, and business ventures that her famous family name have made possible, she'll easily be able to forge her own path if she doesn't pursue music like her parents. Whatever she decides to do, she undoubtedly has the connections to guarantee success. I mean, if you've got a Grammy on your CV, do you even need qualifications? The Richest Kid in America Usually, I'm all for faking it until you make it. But to declare yourself the richest kid in America might be taking things one step too far. Still, that's the tactic taken on by 14-year-old Donald Joseph Doer, the son of San Diego property mogul Donald Doer Sr. This young YouTuber proudly refers to himself as the richest kid in the USA. And while that's very unlikely to actually be true, it doesn't change the fact that his family is indeed filthy rich. And his lifestyle reflects that. 
A typical day in Donald's life starts out relatively tamely, with a hearty breakfast of waffles and whipped cream, followed by the few chores he's assigned, like feeding his pets. A pretty normal start, although very few normal kids own pets like Donald's two purebred Tibetan Mastiffs priced at $5,000 each and two rare Savannah cats with an estimated worth of $15,000 per kitten. After his morning chores, Donald typically hits the rolling lawns outside his father's 14-bedroom, 17-bathroom mansion, where he works out with a personal trainer before finishing his sweat sesh in the sauna. A quick shower later and Donald settles in to do some homeschooling. Once that's done, the self-proclaimed richest kid in America really takes things up a notch. It's these exciting afternoon activities that have begun to draw attention to Donald's YouTube channel, Don Lad, which is rapidly approaching a million subscribers. Don Lad's videos typically consist of outrageous pranks, like hiding a huge snake in his mother's McLaren, or pretending to smash his father's brand new Tesla. Because that's what normal teenagers do after school, right? Normal or not, Donald typically has no trouble finding friends to participate in his escapades. From famous YouTubers like Faze Rugg to Nickelodeon actress Indy Star, Donald and his so-called squad are often seen flaunting supercars like his mother's $200,000 McLaren 570S, Donald Sr.'s $113,000 Nissan GTR, or his friend's Bugatti Veyron valued at almost $2 million. Despite being only 14, Donald already drives the cars like he owns them, which he probably could if he wanted to. Seeing as some sources estimate his popular YouTube videos have earned him a personal net worth of around $1 million. But when he's not flaunting engine power, Donald can either be found in the hot tub, on his private basketball and tennis court, or binging Netflix series in his massive home cinema. Ultimately, while Donald probably isn't the richest kid in America, he's certainly living like he is. Ryan's World this fresh-faced little fellow probably isn't the first thing you'd expect when asked to imagine the world's highest paid YouTuber, but that doesn't make it any less true. In fact, this kid is so loaded, in 2019, he actually bought his parents a house. As of 2021, Texas-born nine-year-old Ryan Kaji has made upwards of $29.5 million from his 30 million subscriber strong YouTube channel, Ryan's World, alone, with a further estimated $200 million from branded toys and clothing, as well as a TV deal with Nickelodeon. A typical day in Ryan's life starts in his Hollywood home with an unassuming cereal breakfast. Despite being one of the richest kids in the world, Ryan's parents say they aim to give their son as much of a normal life as possible. For that reason, Ryan still attends public school, but he often finds himself being overwhelmed by attention and ends up leaving early. The same goes for whenever he's seen in public. Because of his insane internet popularity these days, Ryan can't go anywhere without security escorts, and sadly, he reportedly struggles to make any real friends. That said, Ryan seems pretty happy spending his free time reviewing toys and creating content, but I'll leave it to you guys to decide whether that can ever really replace friendship for a growing young lad. When he first started the channel with his mother in 2015, they used to do everything themselves. But nowadays, with much bigger budgets to throw around, they've got their own filming studio, professional camera operators, editors, and actors. But that doesn't mean the Kanji family have shied away from sharing what their home lives look like. From lavish house tours and extravagant holiday vlogs, it seems Ryan isn't exactly living the normal life his parents were aiming for. When he's not traveling by private jet, he's enjoying unnecessary extra legroom in business class. And don't get me started on their family cruises. In 2019, the Kaji family boarded the mammoth Symphony of the Seas, where they stayed in an $85,000 cabin with a playroom, two bedrooms, a giant balcony, and their own personal hot tub. With the clearly elaborate lifestyle Ryan's channel has given his family, not to mention the endless supply of toys he receives, it's pretty clear you don't need to be an adult with a long career to become filthy rich. These days, you barely need to finish kindergarten to reel in the big bucks. 
Before I continue making you feel even worse about the fact that all these kids are richer than you might ever be, why not take a breather and subscribe to be amazed? Considering I also post videos about things like people having a much worse day than you, and much, much more, you can guarantee you'll feel better about yourself after a good binge. All done? Then let's dive into the life of yet another outrageously rich kid. Millionaire Gamer Griffin Spikoski, better known as Skeptic on social media, earned more money by the time he was 15 than his parents have amassed over their entire lives. Based in Long Island, New York, Griffin got his biggest break in 2019 when he thwarted prominent gamer Tifu in a Fortnite match and uploaded a victory video to YouTube. Now 17 years old, Griffin has amassed 1.4 million subscribers on YouTube and over 700,000 followers on the streaming platform Twitch. The popularity of his online presence has earned him huge cash payments from sponsors, advertisers, and Twitch Prime donations from fans. In 2019 alone, Griffin's income totaled nearly $200,000, and all from sitting at his computer and having fun. In 2020, Griffin went on to join Whistle, a gaming broadcasting company, as an eSports ambassador, where he gained even more fame and recognition in the online gaming community. But that also meant he began to start viewing gaming as a serious career. So, Griffin quickly left public school to finish up the last couple years of his education through online homeschooling and bought an insane $10,000 gaming setup, complete with three monitors and top-of-the-line microphones, cameras, and headphones. On a typical weekday, Griffin spent at least eight hours playing Fortnite in his room, compared to only one hour of schoolwork as agreed on by his parents. And if eight hours sounds like a lot of game time, how does his regularly reached heights of 18 hours per day over the weekend sound? Now that's dedication, but the longer he plays for, the more money he earns, so you can see his reasoning. But despite earning all that money, and despite being able to live a much more luxurious lifestyle, Griffin has decided to save his fortune for when he's older and wants to buy a house or go to college. But just because he's a little frugal with his riches doesn't mean he's not enjoying the finer things in life, which happen to be mostly free for him. From being personally invited to the headquarters of champion esports teams, to receiving VIP passes to elite Fortnite events where he gets to fly first class, Griffin is still far from your average young gamer. I just can't help but wonder where he gets all that self-control from. Would you be able to hold on to that much cash without spending it all? Let me know in the comments. Everly Rose while we're on the YouTuber train, 8-year-old Everly Rose also found fame on the platform when she was only a toddler. With the help of her mother, social media influencer Savannah LeBrant, little Everly quickly gained a whopping 3.75 million subscribers from showing off expensive outfits, competing in challenges, and unboxing toys. Some of her most popular videos are challenges, in which Everly competes for lavish gifts like various Apple devices, dolls, and designer clothes. Not that she really needs to compete for nice things, seeing as in 2020, Everly earned an estimated $730,000 from her YouTube channel alone. And even though that's already a truckload of money, it's chump change compared to the estimated $5.5 million her family's main channel, The LeBrant Fam, rakes in a year. Basically, Everly could buy herself all the miniature Gucci handbags her heart desires and it still would make a dent in her overall lifestyle. Speaking of, Everly lives in a $2.3 million California mansion with her family, where, unsurprisingly, she mostly seems to get whatever she wants. A typical morning in her life starts off with something fun and reckless, like going for a golf cart ride down the street of her upscale neighborhood. Then, Everly tends to watch her morning cartoons in her own personal theater and plays with countless stuffed animals in a playroom furnished with premium decor. In fact, the LeBrant's entire mansion was furnished for free in a publicity deal with Ashley Furniture, who sent an interior designer to give Everly and her family the perfect photo-ready home. 
and even though Everly attends a pretty normal public school in California, she's probably the only kid in her class who regularly gets to jet around the world on the type of Instagram-worthy holidays that keep raking in the views for her family. When the LeBrants aren't flying to luxurious Hawaiian resorts, they're staying in deluxe family cabins on cruise ships or surprising Everly with trips to Disneyland. I don't usually get jealous of eight-year-olds, but <laughs> this kid already had me green with envy at morning golf cart ride. Little Ronaldo 11-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is the eldest son of Portuguese soccer superstar, you guessed it, Cristiano Ronaldo. And by having a father who snatched fourth place on the 2020 Forbes Highest Paid Celebrities list, you can bet your bottom dollar Cristiano Jr. is living a life of luxury. Aside from calling his father's $8 million seven-story house in Madeira his home, Cristiano Jr. is often seen accompanying the soccer star to stadiums and glossy award events around the world. Most notably, he accompanied his father to the FIFA Ballon d'Or Awards in 2013, where Cristiano Ronaldo won World Player of the Year and Cristiano Jr. accompanied him on stage. But aside from a love of soccer, Cristiano Jr. also seems to have inherited his father's expensive tastes. From diamond chains and watches worth almost $500,000 to only sporting brand name clothes, for the younger Ronaldo, clearly money is no object. If this wealthy young fellow's commitment to style wasn't already clear enough, Cristiano Jr. is also a frequent face at the Milan Fashion Week. And when he's not at events flaunting his old man's cash, he's often seen going on exotic five-star holidays with his father's current longtime girlfriend, Georgina Rodriguez. To make sure all his valuable timepieces and jewelry remain safe, Cristiano Jr. has his own personal bodyguard that accompanies him wherever he goes, even when he's flying on one of his father's two private jets, the biggest of which was purchased for an eye-watering $65.5 million. When it comes to his daily life, Cristiano Jr. spends most of his free time training with his father or playing for the prestigious Juventus youth soccer team. And when he's not training or running after a ball, Cristiano Jr. attends an elite Italian private school, where he's often spotted being picked up by his old man. But of course, Ronaldo Sr. doesn't rock up to the school run in just any old station wagon. When he's not driving his son around in his $1.9 million Bugatti Veyron, the pair are seen behind the wheel of either his $400,000 Lambo Aventador or Ferrari F12 worth over $500,000. And while Cristiano Jr. might still be a long way off driving one of those himself, it doesn't mean he hasn't played his hand at driving other types of vehicles. In 2020, Cristiano Jr. had a brush with the law when he was filmed driving a jet ski by himself off the coast of Madeira, which, without possessing a proper license, is seen as a finable offense. According to Portuguese laws, fines for using a jet ski without the proper license are understood to range between $338 and $3,394, which, of course, is probably just loose change in the Ronaldo household. To pay the fine, all Cristiano Jr. probably had to do was have a quick rummage through their couch cushions at home. The Musk Sons Elon Musk's offspring may not be the flashiest kids, but we don't need to see them flaunt their lifestyle to know they're probably living better than most of us. Ranging between the ages of 1 and 17, the billionaire entrepreneur and Tesla Motors CEO has six sons, five with his ex-wife Justine Musk, and one, the youngest, with his current girlfriend, musical artist Grimes. His youngest, bizarrely named XAEA12, was born in May 2020, and the verdict is still out about whether he's actually a cyborg. I mean, why else would his name contain the solo letter X representing unknown mathematical variables, AE after Grimes' elven spelling of artificial intelligence, and A12 thrown in for being the name of both Elon and Grimes' favorite military aircraft? Luckily, the lifestyles of Elon's sons are a little less robotic than the naming conventions of their newest brother. Seeing as Elon basically runs the world and all, his hectic schedule doesn't leave much time for a personal life. But that doesn't stop him from spending every spare moment with his sons. 
Even when things are particularly chaotic, Elon merely snaps his fingers and his sons are jetted over to whichever factory he's working at. Their regular presence at Elon's various factories was proven in an exclusive interview with a New Yorker in 2009, where Elon posed with his sons alongside a clay version of the Tesla Model S at SpaceX, where they can all be seen crafting smaller clay vehicles of their own. While the kids' attempts might not be quite up to the standards of their father just yet, they're certainly not bad. And it's clear Elon encourages creativity and problem solving from a very young age. When they're not observing their father in his factories, the Musk sons are all homeschooled together. And not just any type of homeschooling. Elon, being the overachiever that he is, literally invented his own school, which he named Ad Astra because he didn't agree with the outdated educational approach of traditional schools. At Ad Astra, Elon's sons aren't placed in grades, but are instead taught according to their interests and aptitudes. As each of the boys improves at something, they move up a level, regardless of their age. Elon also provides his sons with regular assessments, like having to disassemble and reassemble intricate pieces of machinery. But just because the Musk sons are schooled from the comfort of their own home, it doesn't mean they're free to do what they want the rest of the day. Not only are the boys banned from playing any video games their father hasn't approved, their daily technology use is limited, making reading their main form of entertainment. And despite having enough money to order pizza all the way from Italy, the Musk sons all follow a very health-conscious lifestyle, as carefully enforced not only by five nannies, but also a nanny manager. That level of control may seem like overkill, but Elon is dead set on raising hard-working sons who appreciate everything they have, and don't take the fruits of his hard work for granted. It's insightful, really. But with Elon currently selling the majority of his material possessions so people won't attack him for being a billionaire, his sons soon may not have anything left to take for granted at all. Prince of the Sneakerheads 19-year-old Rashid Saif Belhasa, the son of corporate business titan Saif Ahmed Belhasa, might not technically be a kid anymore, but that doesn't change the fact that he's been living an outrageously lavish lifestyle his entire life. Every morning, Rashid rolls out of bed surrounded by opulence in his father's mansion on Palm Jumeirah, an upscale man-made island in Dubai. After checking up on his 3 million subscribers on YouTube, with whom he's been sharing his crazy lifestyle since he was 13, the first thing Rashid does is to spend some time with his pets. And no, I'm not referring to average pets like dogs or cats. Rashid and his family actually own a private zoo that contains over 500 exotic animals, most of which are so tame Rashid gets to personally interact with them. Why get a dog when you can have a tiger, right? Well, aside from all the deadly biting. After his morning visit to the zoo, Rashid, a self-proclaimed sneakerhead, faces the difficult decision of deciding which shoes to wear. And before you think that's totally relatable, let me be perfectly clear. Rashid's shoe collection has a staggering value of around $1 million. From Red October Yeezys with an average resale value of $12,300 to a pair of Adidas cleats worn in-game by Bosnian soccer player Miralem Pjanic, Rashid literally spares no expense, or at least his dad's credit card doesn't. So after deciding on the perfect pair of footwear, during his school days, the young millionaire would be chauffeured to his expensive private school, the International School for Arts and Sciences, in one of his many enviable cars. These include a custom-wrapped Ferrari, a Cadillac Escalade, a Rolls-Royce Wraith, and a Lamborghini Aventador with colorful graphics slapped across the body. Unsurprisingly, he was very popular among the other students, but I suspect it had less to do with his personality and more with the amount of celebrities he hangs out with. When Rashid's not getting up to crazy antics, like taking a personal tour of DJ Khaled's mansion, He's showing off his family zoo to the likes of Mariah Carey and Jackie Chan, or performing on stage with American rapper g Easy. Now that's some serious street cred. When he's not hosting or visiting celebrities, Rashid spends his time filming elaborate videos for his YouTube channel, Money Kicks, and new and exciting video ideas are usually only one swipe of his credit card away. 
In 2017, he paid $26,000 for a first-class flight on an Airbus 380, simply to show his fans what they were missing. Then later in 2019, Rashid came up close and personal with the world's most expensive perfume, worth approximately $2 million. And even though he didn't actually end up buying it, he did leave with a complimentary bag of other perfume just for visiting. Now, I'm not saying I'm jealous he got a bag of perfume, but I wouldn't mind being showered with gifts for not purchasing something. With situations like these an almost daily occurrence, and with his YouTube channel and merchandise and clothing line King's Ambition earning him a considerable fortune independent from his father, it doesn't look like Rashid's luxurious lifestyle is going away anytime soon. So, it looks like we're going to remain jealous for a long time. Are you envious of these rich kids' lives, or do you think there are hidden struggles to their situations? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.